what's up guys, today we're going to be playing Red Out Online <clears throat> for like a new series I'm doing. I'm completely new to the game, so you guys can watch my playthrough of it. I'll probably have this spaced out through different videos. You know, me and my friends will play it, I'll play some of the story. Watch the opening cutscene here. Yo, is this like the loading screen? <clears throat> yep. Sad to say the load times are kind of long in this game, but <clears throat> they're not bad. The loading screens are really well made. Well designed, <clears throat> I should say. Okay, uh. sir. Here they are. Tell the marshal this ain't how we do things here. I'll oblige him this once. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, this is our character select. We have a choice between male or female. One. I'm going to go with male All for right, my first then. playthrough. Deputy, would you please? All right. Let's make our duty. I'm going to need your details. See. You aren't going anywhere, and neither am I. Take the time and get this right. I mean, my new, my channel name is now called Outlaw, so. We'll go with that. Hello, one four one. What I hear, you ain't leaving us anytime soon. Ooh, parents. All right. We're gonna need a fair record of you. Tell me everything except that you're innocent. I'd find that hard to believe. Oh, Dan. Quite a record we'll have on you. B42. I'll be average. High color. You're lucky you were caught, you know. The way the town feels about what happened, you were likely to be shot. It's a process, all right, but a necessary one. How you doing with that? The jumpers. <laughs> Plum War out. Alright. I'm just gonna go with the jumpers. Hair, I kinda like my okay, then. hairstyle here.
scar is Where's finish? Portrait took. Bring your hands up onto your chest. All right. <clears throat> played a game, read that game for a while. I know I played Red Dead 1 on PS Now, and I played Red Dead Zombie. I think I played Red Dead 2 for a bit at a friend's house. Back when the game originally came out. Officer Jackson, move those prisoners. Officer Benton, kitchen's a staff. Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves. What are you standing there for? Get moved. What are you looking at? Go on, get moved. You, you, you with the hammer, and you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out in Valentine. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Oh, you start as a prisoner. That's nice. Come on, Milliken. Tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. You aren't saying nothing. We are now, shut up. <laughs> you know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary doesn't add much to the world. Education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Went, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. 
My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, sir, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. All right. <clears throat> All right. Follow the stranger. All right. Get some better clothes than this. That's not much of an animal, but I haven't got far to ride. Just get on the horse when you're good and ready, okay? Ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. I'm sorry, but I'm going to need you to come with me. It ain't time for you to ride off on your own. Not quite yet. Now come along. So far pretty good. Six months at Sissica Penitentiary. Awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up in those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. I still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were. Came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you. Forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. But you will listen to my mistress first. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience, at least. You've been away for a while, so we'll help you get set up in the world. Then if you want to accept our offer, you can. That's more than reasonable. And freedom out on the range can wait a few moments longer, can't it? Good. As soon as we're done, you can find your old posse. Or try and start a new one. You'll have money in your pocket to go to the store with. And there'll be chances to make more, if that's what you're after. And chances to raise hell, too, if you feel you're in the need of them. Okay. We haven't got far to go This now. is going to be kind of like GTA Online. It's really western, old style. You're just up here. There's the camp. Hit your horse. This way. She's anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica the clerk, how do you do? What did you tell him? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure. But that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. 
but I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. <sighs> anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there. Alongside a few other items you might need. A lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna go with no hat. And things are ugly. Probably gonna stick with the Union shirt. Looks more comfortable. Holly? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I oh. intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out and kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see, you walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, my former best friend. Crook. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye for now. Then Horley, go introduce him to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. 
Crips. Get up. Oh, hello, partner. Harley. <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. <laughs> J.B. Crips at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, where are we headed? Sir, while Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. All right, free camp. Good luck. I'm sure you're tired. Get this done and you can rest. Alright, we're just going to play the first mission here. Go to Valentine Post Office. I'm assuming if I just follow this, it'll bring me there. Yep. Now for future videos, I'll probably play this with like friends, and I'll just keep playing the main story as well. Show you guys things I get, strategies to become rich, just kind of regular gameplay stuff that I do. It's all part of a new series I'm making. So yeah, stay tuned for more on this, and more Reddit content. And probably soon, some Call of Duty Cold War content. I mean, season one's coming out pretty soon. I'm still playing a lot of Modern Warfare, so make sure you check out some more of that content. My mic came unplugged. Um, yeah, I'll be posting more Modern Warfare content. Horse's stamina is kind of low right now. I'm just kind of going to like traveling, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm sure later in the game, I need to run from people and stuff. I'm definitely kind of want to bank that stamina, like in Breath of the Wild. Hmm. 
I have a post here I can tie him to. Nope, no, no, no. Okay, horse just kind of hang here. Okay, X is right. Good lord! That's not the post clerk, is it? Hello! You must, uh... You must be, a uh, Harley's friend. He's one of us. He said you also were a discouraged man. I'm very discouraged. Disappointed Alden. That's me. Anyway, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I find your reticence charming. This dude sounds like uh, that weird kid charming. that you meet at school. By the way, I heard like. you might want to earn a little money. Well... Some that kid that sits in like, the back of your class they are not mm, like, the doesn't class. shut up. My meaning. If you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up in Cumberland Forest. See what you can do, okay? Here, by the way, a catalog. The latest issue just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if all works out, well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed. And all of us are very discouraged. We will all help a fellow sufferer with pertinent information. Good afternoon, sir. All right. Okay, my horse is still here. What happens if you shoot someone? Hey. Nope. Damn. Can I loot him? I think that's it for this video. I'll head to the forest in the next one. And, you know. See you guys around.